Hey Taurus, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And here's some deep thoughts for you. <laughs> this is just like a bonus little thing. And I just figured I'd put it out. I know I put a six week forecast out a couple of weeks ago, but I just feel like reading. So we're going to put a Taurus bonus out. I want to warn y'all, I'm in the backyard. It's a beautiful day in Colorado. So you may hear the dogs bark. You may hear a lawnmower start. You may hear some neighbors. I don't know what you're going to hear. You probably hear some traffic. But um, yeah, God forbid a squirrel runs by because if a squirrel runs by, you're definitely going to hear the dogs. So if that happens, I will quickly pause the video, wait for the commotion to stop, and then pick up right where we left off, okay? All right. It's just too beautiful outside, so I want to be outside. All right, Taurus. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you're a YouTube subscriber, you can go to the link below and get a $50 reading. If you're not one of my YouTube subscribers, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and pay the full $100 price for a reading, okay? All righty. Um, a general reading is not a substitution for a personal reading. If there's anything in here that you need clarification about, or if this is not your reading and you want your own personal reading, by all means, go to your favorite tarot card reader and pay for a reading. The peace of mind is worth its weight in gold. That being said, do not ever make a decision off of a general tarot card reading. They are general and they are not for you. It's the general thread that's going on with the sign of Taurus based on the planetary positions and the, all of that stuff, okay? That's what this is, all right? Okay, Taurus. So, start out this reading with the Nine of Swords, right? And a lot of conflict, lots of conflict. It's, I mean, it's like a, a throbbing thing that won't go away, right? It's, it's just constant on your mind all the time. To the Eight of Swords, wrapped up in a mental prison, right? Just, just I mean, whatever this is, it's just racking your brain hard. The magician says that this is because you are trying to manifest either the emperor or the energy of the emperor into your life. Seven of Wands says it is a challenge. This emperor here, this is the card of Aries, may mean something, may not, and if it doesn't, don't even think twice about it. This emperor represents power, control, authority, establishment, and structure in your life. So if you are not trying to manifest a person who will bring authority, control, establishment, and structure into your life, then you're trying to manifest a, an energy that will bring those qualities into your life. However, with the Seven of Wands, it represents a challenge for you. The Princess of Wands. Now, normally, this would be about being excited and doing some exploration and checking some things out, free spirit kind of energy. But in this placement, this card is about a setback to new ideas. So you are all up in your head because you're trying to manifest the emperor or an emperor energy into your life and it's extremely challenging which is creating some setbacks to your original goal or intention what clarifies this princess of wands is the judgment card the hierophant and death this judgment card right here is about it's it's about making a, a very serious decision either following an inner calling or, or, or making a decision that is irrevocable in your life, right? Because this is like resurrection day right here, right? Hope you all can see that. I don't know if you can, but this judgment card is like resurrection day, right? It is judgment day, right? When it comes to commitment of some sort, that you're thinking about putting to an end. You're thinking about putting it to an end however you want it. You want this commitment because you're trying to manifest it right here with the magician, right? And you're all up in your head hard with the nine of swords and the eight of swords, right? So you, you want this commitment in your life. You want to change, transform, 
transition into whatever this is for you. And you need to make a judgment call about it. But on the flip side, you're thinking about maybe just putting it to death and leaving it be. You, the Empress. And this is all about the King of Cups. Well, first of all, you, the Empress, are in your fields with the King of Cups. Secondly, you, the Empress, this if entire top row right here is about somebody that you see as the King of Cups or something that you um, love, have the feels for very much. It could be a person, could be a thing, could it be a job, it could be anything in your life, okay? So this whole top row is you being hard up in your head about trying to manifest the emperor into your life. It's a challenge, right? Delays, frustration, setbacks. Judgment says you need to make a judgment call about some kind of commitment to this situation or to this person. You'd really like to tra change, transition, and transform this situation. But on the flip side, you're also thinking about putting a death to it as well because the two of pentacles down here this two of pentacles is about juggling now i'm not saying that whatever this situation up here is a third party situation but what i am saying is that there is something about this situation that wherein you are not being prioritized okay there's some other energy interrupting what you're trying to do. See, this Two of Pentacles is right under the Nine of Swords. And later on, it's under the six, it's above the Six of Cups, reconciliation and reuniting, but we'll get to that later. So there's some interfering energy right here, right? And you're waiting. You're waiting and waiting and waiting. And look, Temperance, waiting some more. You, the Queen of Pentacles, under the Empress, you, the Queen of Pentacles, are waiting for this situation to change with the wheel. So you have interfering energy with the Two of Pentacles. The Three of Wands, waiting and waiting. Temperance, waiting. The Queen of Pentacles, you, with the wheel, waiting for um, a turning point so you can reunite and reconcile 100% with the Six of Cups right here. So we have a little sidebar, right? I asked what that Two of Pentacles was about. And intuitively, instinctually, and by the placement of the cards, I know it's an interfering energy, okay? Because you're waiting for it to clear up. This interfering energy, there is going to be some kind of communication with the Princess of Swords. This is about being mentally restless. It's also about all talk and no action too, which could be the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords for you, depending on your situation. But nevertheless, some communication that brings absolute clarity and truth to you or to another. The Eight of Pentacles. Can you guys see that? Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles. This is all about... Um, working and engaging working working as in coming engaging with one another and working it out okay engaging with one another and working it out to the six of wands progress victory and success is also attached to this card but there's definitely progress made in the situation that clears up the five of swords clears up all kinds of conflict, all kinds of miscommunication, mind games. It just clears up a bunch of stuff, right? Clears up a bunch of stuff. So that's a little sidebar. So while you are sitting here waiting on this other energy to clear itself out of your way, waiting and waiting, you queen of pentacles, waiting for a turning point in this situation. Don't fear because there is some communication that's going to happen that's going to clear everything up. What you're waiting on is the six of cups, reunion or reconciliation. 
reunion or reconciliation. And if this is not a love situation, you are waiting, um, you're, you're still waiting on reunion or reconciliation of some kind, family, work, business, something, you're, you're still waiting on it, right? And you're manifesting it. You are manifesting it into your life. You're using all of your resources and you are manifesting it into your life. You're just sitting there, Taurus, just sitting there, just like a bull and you're bringing it to you, right? I want this. I want this. I'm going to have this. This is what I'm going to do, right? Throwing some strength in the mix there, right? Being strong, waiting, 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 being strong. Love relationship with the lovers right there. If it's not a love relationship for you, it is about choices and it is about a relationship in your life that is very important to you. Career, home, family, doesn't matter. The high priestess comes in. This high priestess talks to me about divine timing. Temperance in the middle, major arcana, right? Patience, purpose, balance, moderation. Patience because you're waiting. You're patiently waiting for a turning point in this situation. The high priestess tells me, divine timing, my sweet Taurus, divine timing. It's all in divine timing. Something's not right. Something's not ready. Something's not done yet. Nine of Pentacles comes in. This talks to me about a culmination, right? Because like I said up here, you're kind of sort of thinking with this death card that you're not so sure you want to keep waiting, right? Not so sure you want to keep waiting. So, and, and, if, and it's under temperance, okay? It's, it's frustration and delays, patience, and not sure if you want to keep waiting with the culmination and the Nine of Pentacles. To the Queen of Wands. Now, this Nine of Pentacles right here is clarified by the Five of Cups, right? This Five of Cups is loss, regret, and disappointment. Cups have been spilled because you've been waiting, because there is this interfering energy over here. Cups have been spilled, right? Really, really considering moving on. You are. Two of Swords says there's lots of indecision and confusion, right? Lots of indecision and confusion, and you're not real sure what you want to do in the situation. However, the Ace of Cups tells me that you have some serious feels going on here. Whatever this is, is super important to you, and you have some serious feels going on about it. To the Four of Pentacles, hell nah are you giving up, Taurus. Hell no, are you giving up? You have a white knuckle grip on this situation. A white knuckle grip. Temperance comes in again and says, be patient, be calm, moderation, balance, patience, and purpose. Be patient. It also is telling me with that Four of Pentacles to the Temperance to let go of control. Let go of trying to make this situation happen with the alchemist right there. And let the alchemist do the work for you, right? Being a major arcana, being number one, thank you very much, of the major arcana. Let the alchemist and the high priestess do the work for you. Let it go. Sit back and enjoy the ride, as difficult as that may be sometimes. But what's yours is yours. What's meant to be yours will be yours. The universe will help you manifest it into, the, into your life. And the high priestess says, divine timing, my darlings, divine timing. Queen of Wands comes in and says, you are determined determined, right? Absolutely determined to the seven of pentacles. This is about reflection and assessment. You know what? I feel like this queen of wands, honestly, let me get a clarifying card real quick. I think that this is this energy popping up in the reading. 
I don't know why. Let me see. Tell me about this Queen of Wands right here, please. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I got the King of Pentacles. Hold on. Tell me about this King of Queen of Wands right here. Real quick, please. Real quick. What's this? Can you give me anything else besides the King of Pentacles? Because I... Oh, I see. I see. This Queen of Wands is this King of Cups. That's what this is. That's what this is. Because the King of Pentacles, right? The King of, of Taurus energy. I mean, he's got the bull on his card right there. Two bulls up at the top. This is the card of the masculine Taurus because it is a king. However, the masculine in this card is coming out because you, this is like, this is like top of the line Taurus, right? Because of this queen of wands right here. You want this queen of wands, the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. What an amazing mix actually. But this is representing you. This is this queen of wands is representing this king of cups, who it is that you want, right? And it's clarified by spirit with the king of pentacles. You Taurus want this queen of wands. The seven of pentacles, reflection and assessment, right? It's also about waiting. Here you are waiting some more, patiently waiting, sowing seeds to reap the profit and reward while you wait. This, you are hoping, will result in public recognition, success, self-confidence and progress in the situation. To the Empress, winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Presenting as the Empress, abundance, winning, building. I mean, it doesn't get any higher than the Empress as far as the ranking goes. Um, <coughs> the Magician and then the High Priestess, which you have both in your reading. And then it's the Empress, right? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. All right. What I want to do now, Taurus, is pull some outcome cards for you real quick, okay? Let's, let's pull some outcome cards and see how this whole situation is going to shake down in the end, okay? Let's do that. I hope you all can see this okay and everything worked out all well. And the cards are messed up. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what we got. Spirit. Source. Thank you for those messages. Thank you for the understanding, the clarification, the confirmation. Thank you for allowing me to have the ability to interpret what it is that you're trying to say, Spirit. Oh, hold on, everybody. Hold on, Spirit. My cards are all messed up. What is going on here? There we go. Spirit, Spirit, I have more messages. If you could please... If you could please give the collective of Taurus some information about what the ultimate outcome of this will be for them. What is their advice? What is the ultimate outcome of this particular situation? Love, career, family, friends, whatever this is for the Tauruses <laughs> that uh, this is Four, what is the ultimate outcome? Can you give us some cards? Can you give us some ultimate outcome here? What is the ultimate outcome? And that's like 80 cards, hold on. What's the ultimate outcome? What's the ultimate outcome, spirit? What's the ultimate outcome here? What's the ultimate outcome? What's the ultimate outcome? What's the ultimate outcome here? What's the ultimate outcome, Spirit? What's the ultimate outcome? And for those of y'all who are asking why I just turned that card around, um, all my cards are upright. I read them either upright or reversed, depending upon their placement in the deck, okay? I don't believe in reversed cards and it being all it's supposed to be and all that kind of stuff. I just don't. It's just not my thing. No hate, no shame. It's just not for me. What else, Spirit? 
What else? So the Seven of Cups, right? Seven of Cups is going to be all about choices, options, wishful thinking, decisions, strength. Again, strength. Might be dealing with a Leo. Strength. Or a Leo-like person, right? Somebody that is uh, vivacious and outgoing and extrovert. Center of attention. Everybody loves them. Or her. Right? Okay, what else? Come on, spirit. Nothing else? Nothing else you want to say about all this? Really? What's all this? Yeah, this is just a reiteration of the whole reading right here in a couple of cards. So anyway, um, options, choices, decisions that need to be made, strength that you, you need to, you know, you need to be strong about this. And I don't mean just strong like, oh, strong. I mean like strong like in your mind, in your emotions, right? Strong, in, strong within yourself or self-respect kind of strong. Knight of Swords, some action oriented communication. We'll read those in a second. Some action oriented communication. Tell me, will you please, about this Knight of Swords? What exactly is this Knight of Swords right here? What exactly is this? Oh, oh I bet it's oh, I bet it's this whole thing over here. All right, we don't even have to, right? Because uh, look. That's what this is. That's what's going on right here, right? This truth that's coming in, right? This truth that's coming in that's going to clear up all of the conflict while you're waiting. And I don't know at one point, at what point in this reading that this is going to come in, but I think that's actually the culmination of this situation. So, anyway, um, Right? Choices and options, waiting, strength, communication comes in, brings you wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, right? So there you are in the hangman energy and the eight of swords, just like you are up there. Uh, thinking, waiting, the hangman's about waiting, right? Thinking, waiting, page of cups for the message of a creative new beginning from whoever this person or situation is for you. The 10 of pentacles comes in and says that you see this as a golden opportunity. This will be a golden opportunity to the three of uh, wands waiting some more to the hermit soul searching and introspection, right? About about indecisions at a crossroads to the ace of cups all about your feels all about your feels it's all about your feels this whole reading is you waiting and sitting and suffocating those feels while we wait for this other energy to clear the hell out so we can wait for this other energy to clear out anything else you want to say here yeah, it's a burden and a struggle. All right, we're just going to keep repeating the same message over and over and over again. So there you go, Taurus. That is your reading. The gist of it is that you are in a situation trying to manifest the emperor into your life, but it's a challenge for you because of delays and frustrations. You want to make a judgment call in regards to this commitment that you really do want. You'd like to transition, transform this entire relationship um, into abundance because the Empress wants this King of Cups right here. It's all about your feels right now, all about the feels. However, you're also thinking about putting the squash to it because you're getting a little bit tired of waiting around for it, getting a little bit tired of whatever the hell's going on in this situation. You're just getting a little tired of it, okay? Just getting a little tired of it. What are you getting tired? What do you wait? What, what's the problem? The problem is this two of pentacles right here. There is some kind of interfering energy where you are not being prioritized at the moment. You're waiting for something to clear up. Three of Wands, waiting. Temperance, waiting. Queen of Pentacles, waiting, waiting for the wheel, for the situation to change, for a turning point in the situation. To reunite and reconcile with the Six of Cups. 
to manifest this into your life for a culmination to the situation, right? For a culmination to the situation with this Queen of Wands, King of Cups character, Seven of Pentacles, sowing seeds and waiting Re about reuniting and reconciling. Strength because you're waiting in a love relationship or some kind of situation that is very important to you. The High Priestess comes in and says divine timing, just like the temperance, divine timing, patience. But over here, remember in the other cards, we had the Four of Pentacles to temperance, right? That Four of Pentacles to temperance means that um, you're holding on and you're not giving up and temperance is... is um, slightly cautioning you to loosen your grip just a little bit and let things play out the way that they're supposed to play out because we have these cards right here all talk and no action at the moment but there's going to be some truth that comes in about engaging with one another building and working on something public recognition success self-confidence and victory that clears up all of the conflict, this conflict and conflict from the past as well. So there you go, Taurus. That is your reading. If you'd like a reading just for you, just like this, just for your situation. If you're a YouTube subscriber, you can click on the link below, hook it up for 50 bucks. If you're not my YouTube subscriber, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and schedule a personal reading. Namaste.